going to learn biodegradable plastics from a topic chemistry of polymers this is the learning outcome for today's session at the end of this session students will be able to describe definition example and applications of biodegradable plastic so we are going to learn what is the definition of biodegradable plastic or polymer what are the examples of biodegradable plastics and what are the uses that is applications of biodegradable plastic so what are biodegradable plastics biodegradable plastics are obtained by using biodegradable polymers which are a special class of polymers that breaks down after its intended purpose by bacterial decomposition process to result in natural by products such as gases water biomass and inorganic salts these polymers are found both naturally and synthetically made and largely consist of ester amide and ether as functional groups their properties and breakdown mechanisms are determined by their exact structure these polymers are often synthesized by condensation reaction ring opening polymerization and by using metal catalyst so biodegradable polymers are non toxic good in mechanical integrity until they get degraded and capable to control rate of degradation factors controlling the rate of degradation include percent crystalline molecular weight and hydrophobicity the degradation rate depends on the environment surroundings also such as the polymer in which environment it is used such as ph enzymes concentration and amount of water now after learning the definition we'll see some of the examples of biopolymers which are then used to prepare different varieties of bioplastics which get degraded and which are known as eco friendly material so starch is one of the example of biopolymer it is found in corn potatoes wheat and some other plants annual world production of starch is well over 70 billion pounds with much of it being used for non food purposes like making paper cardboard textile sizing and other uses so this is the structure of the starch which is mainly obtained from the plant origin and this is used as one of the major source to prepare the biopolymers which is then used to prepare different bioplastics this is collagen it is the most abundant protein found in mammals gelatin is denatured collagen and is used in casings capsules for drugs and vitamin preparations and other miscellaneous industrial applications including photography cellulose it is the most plentiful carbohydrate in the world 40% of all organic matter is cellulose and largely used for preparation of biopolymers casein commercially produced mainly from cow's skimmed milk it is used to make biopolymers such as adhesives binders protective coatings and other products soya protein it is obtained from corn it is used for making adhesives and coatings for paper and cardboard polyester is also one of the example of biopolymer these are produced by bacteria and can be made commercially on large scales through fermentation process they are now being used in biomedical applications lactic acid it is now commercially produced on large scale through the fermentation of sugar feed stock obtained from sugar beets or sugar cane or from the conversion of starch from corn potato peels or other starch sources it can be polymerized to produce polylactic acid which is already finding commercial applications in drug capsulation and biodegradable medical devices triglycerides are also important examples of biopolymers this is the structure of triglycerides glycerol plus fatty acid when these are reacted we are getting the triglycerides this can also be polymerized triglycerides make a large part of the storage lipids 
in animal and plant cells over 16 billion pounds of vegetable oils are produced in the united states yearly mainly from soybean and rapeseed oil triglycerides are another promising raw material for producing biopolymers and plastics now after learning what are the examples of that biopolymer now we'll see what are the applications of biopolymer and we'll cover some of the important applications so first biopolymers that is bioplastics also it is used as a packing material at present most of the conventional packing materials are the products of petrochemicals like pvc pet that is polyvinyl chloride polyethylene turf phthalate polystyrene polypropylene polyamide the only problem with synthetic polymer is their resistance to degradation in the environment so what happened today ki at present largely the synthetic uh, polymers which then convert into plastics that is pvc sheets or pet bottles etc are used for a packing material mainly for food products pharmaceutical products and etc so they cause lot of issues with the environment and a promising material coming up to solve this issue is known as the biodegradable plastic so the biodegradable plastics are capable of undergoing decomposition into carbon dioxide methane water inorganic compounds and biomass therefore biopolymers are largely used as a packing material so this is the comparison in between the synthetic uh, traditional poly packing material and the biopolymers are there so nowadays there is large trend to use the biopolymers as a packing material because these material are largely used as a uh, degradable material prokaryotic polyhydroxy alkaloids which are commercially known as pha are considered as promising material to compete with petro plastics on the food packaging market generally phas are biopolyesters of alkanic acids containing a hydroxyl group and at least one functional group attached to the carboxyl group polysaccharides starch proteins cellulose aliphatic polyesters polylactide polyhydroxy alkanoids are used as packing material in food and allied industry this is the second use we are observing here that is the biopolymers used in agriculture as a agricultural material biopolymers are also used for seed coating which serves as soil stabilizer seed protector yield enhancer and plant growth regulator biopolymers dry quickly dissolve rapidly in water form effective water soluble film readily adhere to seeds minimize the required dose of fungicides and provide excellent control of plant diseases thereby contributing to enhanced plant productivity new biocompatible and biodegradable biopolymers are produced from plants microbes animals renewable agricultural waste and feed stocks biopolymers used in agriculture are mostly prepared from acrylic acids and a cross linking agent like potassium by solution or suspension polymerization the polymer so form is called a polyacrylate polymer supported herbicides insecticides are also used biopolymers are also used as a super absorbent which will help to absorb moisture in soil biopolymers used in agriculture are obtained from copolymerization of cellulose starch lipids etc this is the third application biopolymers are also used in construction as a construction material applications of biopolymers in construction are widespread and diverse in some cases biopolymers offer distinct advantages in performance and or cost over synthetic polymers biopolymers are used for plastering and painting the walls for avoiding leakages for providing strain for natural lighting and cooling so here i would like to ask you one question biopolymers are used for option a plastering and painting the walls option b for avoiding leakages 
option C for providing strength and option D all of these. Think for a moment, we will come with the answer and the question is biopolymers are used for which of the following option is correct. And the correct answer is option D all of these. Following biopolymers are used in construction, starch, carboxymethyl starch, polymer produced in industrial fermentation process by microorganisms, biodegradable polymers which can be based on naturally occurring or synthetic polymers, lignosulfonate, humic acid, lignite, cellulose, polyester etc. It is also used in medicine. Natural polymers are obtained from living organisms and more biocompatible. It is used for own healing, reconstruction of bones, skin, heart walls etc. Cheetosin is used as hemostatic material to stop bleeding and is obtained from exoskeleton of marine animals such as crabs, shrimps etc. Biopolymers used in manufacture of medical devices which are used to replace or repair some diseased, damaged or non-functional piece of tissue or bone like replacement of joints, hurt wall, teeth, tendons, ligaments etc. Advances in polymers have led to the development of novel drug delivery devices. A proper understanding of surface and bulk properties of polymers can help in designing the polymers and thus the design and synthesis of novel polymers will expand the scope of new drug delivery system in the future. Biodegradable polymers find widespread use in the drug delivery as they can be degraded to non-toxic component inside the body. All this I have prepared by referring a textbook of engineering chemistry written by Jain and Jain. Thank you.